Alrighty, you guys, how's it going? Uh, we had some parts show up for the pitter, so we're gonna go ahead and get those from the mailbox. But uh, I just wanna show you guys what we're cleaning today, real quick. It's gonna be so fun. Oh, I locked it. of cleaning today. It's going to be awesome. It's a little nasty. Definitely gonna have to uh, get down and dirty with this thing. And even air it out. It kinda smells like throw up. But uh, yeah, let's. <sighs> We're gonna be doing that. We're not filming none of that. I'll just show you when it's done. But uh, yeah, let's go ahead and grab the parts. I think we might have some right around here, actually. They're not here, which means they are probably in the mailbox. So let's go down the mailbox and uh, see what we got in there. We got the packages. We actually have three packages. We have this one's from Faster Minis. This one's from Factory Mini Bikes. And this is Keystone Cycles. Uh, they weren't all supposed to show up today, actually, but I'm glad they did. So uh, yeah, let's go ahead and throw you guys on the tripod and uh, get to opening these things. Guys, we got our trusty unboxing knife. Uh, I think this one is the one from Factory Mini Bikes. Oh, it is. All right, you guys are gonna like this. We're going a little overboard with this build. Well, that's a sweet. That's a sweet sticker. Keep it factory. Factory mini bikes. I dig that. Oh shoot! Titanium. Let's go. Look at those. Oh my god. These were so expensive. Look at this. Titanium. We're gonna make sure we lock tight the hell out of these boys. I can't afford to replace them either. Alrighty. So. This is from Faster Minis. We have our BVR extended brake uh, cable. Yeah, yeah, brake brake cable. Very nice. Shout out to BVR. Um, Faster Minis. The uh, cam cover bolts in black. Looking fly. Dude, Faster Minis make some sick parts. Those are gonna be clean. And then uh, we went ahead and ordered some new seals for the cam cover because it's, it's leaking a little bit. So I'm going to go ahead and throw these in. Throw in our new bolts. And, uh, yeah, we have, I forgot, we have one more package. We have one more package. Uh, you guys are awesome. But, uh, yeah. Let's go ahead and get this bad boy open. Oh shoot, this is clean. So this is actually from like Australia, I think, is where the company's out of. But uh, check it out. Dang, that is clean, you guys. Oh my, that's gonna look so good. With the tie bolts. Oh, that's gonna look very fly. I am so stoked. This thing's gonna be so sick. Let's go. Yeah. So uh, yeah, shout out to you guys, Keystone Cycle. Thanks for uh, keeping things in stock when others won't. Not that it's their fault, but it's just nice to have somewhere to go when you can't find a part you need. Always smooth, I dig it. Alrighty, so for this hole, let's see what we got here. We got the brake cable, the titanium bolts, rear sprocket, uh, the cam cover bolts, and uh, cam cover, uh, <clears> or <throat> yeah, cam cover seals. Pretty freaking fly. Look at that. So sweet. So uh, yeah, thanks. Thank you guys, Keystone Cycle. Uh, thank you, Faster Minis, and thank you, Factory Mini Bikes for uh, keeping things in stock and uh, making it super easy to order. And uh, yeah, I appreciate you guys. Sorry guys, my camera battery died, and I am not sponsored by any of these companies to be saying any of this. I just think it's awesome that. There's pit bike companies out there that make this stuff for these bikes. I mean, like, God, you can make these things look so sick. And, yeah, it's just awesome. They get it to you super fast, you know. I mean, look at this stuff. It's just it's high-quality stuff. Definitely is a little pricey, but it is high-quality stuff. I cannot wait to get this sprocket on with these bolts. Oh, it's going to look so good. Too bad my wheels won't be laced up, but 
once the wheels are laced up, we'll throw this onto the new wheels, but we're probably just gonna throw this onto the old wheels for now. The inside looks so much better. There's obviously stains and stuff, but yeah, we got the seats looking immaculate. Like I said, don't look at the outside. We didn't touch the outside. But, uh, yeah. Looks so much better. Oh, so much better. It smelled like throw up in here when we started, and now it at least doesn't smell like throw up. She is definitely looking at least somewhat new. She's, she is beat, but yeah, she looks good. Alright you guys, Cody just got here. We're gonna throw a firecracker at him. It's 4th of July by the way, so let's get this ready. Uh, we're gonna need a lighter. Set the camera right here. I just put these on like Bro's got that go. air shocks. <laughs> it's uh Is it? No, that's yeah. That ain't right. <laughs> no. <laughs> 80 pounds. <laughs> Sorry, you guys, my phone died, but yeah, we're all the way over there. Our triple clamp and our frame braces are coming from right there in the UK. Shout out to Diamond Minis. North Highcomb is where they're at. It's the most mint 450. Look at that, this thing is crazy. The electric 50s from Honda. These things are minty. Very nice. That's it though. Picked up some oil for the 110. This guy came out with number 53 for the hat. Yo. It's like 53 hats. We're just whipping the Ranger Danger. Oh yeah. Oh, she's going. Oh yeah, she rides. She'd be riding real nice too. She's yeah, she's special. But you now we're gonna go do a oil change on the bike. Get the new magnetic oil drain plug put in, and uh, get those valve cover bolts put on, and uh, our cam cover, and get those new seals in. So uh, yeah, I'll see you guys either back at Gavin's or back at the house. Man's got the man's just riding the fucking three hundred. She's a little dirty. She's a little dusty. Ain't nothing but a thing. Dude, it's nice being able. It's nice being able to uh, push a bike in the back of that bed by yourself. Yeah, I bet. How's that tire shine coming? Looks good. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. It's looking a little drippy. Alrighty guys, we're gonna go ahead and uh, hit you guys with a quick oil change on this thing. I figured I'd do an oil change since I need to uh, get the oil drain plug out and get our new magnetic one from Takigawa, however you say that. I think it's Takigawa, is that how you say it? Probably, I don't know. And then we also need to get those uh, cam cover bolts on, on the uh, cam cover so uh, and the new seals. So yeah, let's go ahead and uh, get the oil drained on this thing real quick and then uh, yeah. Get those new parts on and get the fresh stuff in and get her started. Let her run for a little bit. Even though she's obviously not going to be moving anywhere. The parts for the front end, I think they'll be here in about a week. Maybe a little less. So, uh, yeah. Let's go ahead and get this going. As you guys can see, the new cam cover bolts just really tie this thing together on the front. They look so much cleaner than those stock ones. Just since they're Allen heads, man, they just look so good. Like, look at those things. See if we can get to focus. Look at those. They just look 
they look 10 times better than the stock bolts. So, yeah, this thing is certainly coming together. It's getting there. You just need to order exhaust. Once the Pit Bike and Destroy Pig Bar comes in stock, get that. And then this thing will pretty much have everything on it. I mean, yeah, I know. It'll pretty much be wrapped up besides getting those wheels built up and installed. But, uh, yeah. It's probably going to wrap it up for tonight. And I'll catch you guys whenever the next part haul shows up. Whether it's Hayden and all my suspension getting done. Or the uh, triple clamp set up getting here. So, uh, yeah. I'll see you guys then. Let's get it. Back over here at Gavin's. He's got a whole sort of mess going on. Fresh plastics with fresh graphics. He's actually doing a half decent job. How's that radiator shroud coming? I watched a five minute YouTube video. Grabbed this old uh, true card. Oh yeah? Let's get after it. How's that shroud coming? Uh, well, you know. It's coming. It's coming. Yeah. Eventually. Yeah, eventually. She'll get there. Quick little before, and we'll do a video after. So uh, let's go ahead and hit you guys with that after, right? Yeah, got the new plastics and graphics on. She's looking mint. Oh, yeah. After a whole lot of. We got her all put together. Actually, looks really good. Looks way cleaner. It's got the little skidda. The Just woke up. That was, like a, that was like a three or four hour process. For real. Shit took a grip. The swing arm's looking clean. I was working on it for two hours before you showed up. Yeah. Shit looks clean. Fucking <laughs> <laughs> smashes into it. <laughs> Dude, this shit's clean. I just wanted to see someone else drive it. It's so dumped. Oh my god. Let out the clutch! Jeez. Let it out! <laughs> Alright, probably one of the most expensive parts of the build just showed up today. I am so stoked to get this freaking package open. Came all the way from the UK. Yes, these is the Diamond Minis package. So uh, let's, hang on. let's go ahead and throw you guys on the tripod. Get that box open. All right, you guys, we got our trusty unboxing knife. Let's open. Oh yeah, there's the diamond mini symbol. Let's go. Oh, you guys, I'm so stoked for this. Where is? How do we get this thing open? stickers got candy huh. all right never had that he's gonna spend so much money all right this is probably the lower and now this is oh, okay these are clean dang more candy <laughs> these are clean you guys look at this oh those are sad those are gonna look so good Here's, those were expensive, but here's the most expensive piece. Oh, this is going to be so, oh, I can already tell. Oh, my. Oh, my God. Oh, my. Wow. That is gorgeous. Look at that. Oh. Dang. That's a piece of art. That is a piece of art right there. No wonder it was $640. All right, now we got the bottom. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, look at that. That is beautiful. Piece of art. Diamond Minis, you guys are doing it like no one else with these triple clamps, holy shit. God, 
Now I know why I spent so much money. Whoo! Those are clean. Oh my. Yeah, that is. Yeah. Let's uh, let's get some B-roll of this. Alrighty, so since these showed up, we're gonna go ahead and get all the bars off, get the number plate off, get the front fender off, get these stock ugly triple clamps off, and get these gorgeous new billet triple clamps on from Diamond Mini. So, yeah, these are yeah phenomenal. So, let's go ahead and get that going. All right, we just got the uh, triple clamps all buttoned up on this thing, and man, look at how clean this is. Diamond minis, I am amazed. This thing is gorgeous. Like, look at that, wow, that looks so clean, holy. You know, it went on super easy, super nice, very well built, very clean setup. We're definitely gonna need longer throttle cables. I mean, look at this, honestly, we're gonna, I don't know. I was thinking about going with the T-Rex throttle setup. I don't know if I can run it with the stock throttle body. I'll have to call them and see, but yeah, that we're not even gonna be able to ride with those throttle cables. Yeah, we'll, we'll have to go ahead and do that, but I think we're gonna go ahead and uh, switch over to throwing these bad boys on real quick. So uh, let's go ahead and get these on. Well, we got it all on, and man, does it look clean. I'm looking at it right now, you guys. And whoo, this thing is looking insane right now. So uh, yeah, we're gonna go ahead and throw you guys a quick little montage right now. Well guys, that is gonna wrap it up for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, this thing is really starting to come together. It's, I can't believe how far we've come with this build. But uh, yeah, it is. It is gonna be something else when it is done, that's for sure. It's looking phenomenal already. So we got the braces on, then we got that. I was gonna throw the sprocket on, but I figured just in case, if the suspension doesn't get done, before that we can get the wheels built then I might as well just get the wheels built and yeah wait a little longer but I don't know we'll see I think we'll be throwing that sprocket on before the wheels are built though because yeah I don't really have a time frame as to when everything's gonna be done but uh, yeah we did order the t-rex throttle as you can see because these throttle kits just they are not long enough so they rub really bad and it's like watch it pulls it pulls it over. I mean, it just pulls it right back. Right back. Right back. So, yeah. We ordered the T Rex uh, Blue Vapor Throttle with uh, their uh, throttle cable. So, hopefully, that uh, will fix this. Hopefully, it's longer. They, they'd have to make it longer, I think. I put a thing in saying that it's going to be longer, but yeah. No. We are so close to having this thing wrapped up. Literally all I'm, I can think of that we need is exhaust, uh, peg bar, and then uh, some special titanium stuff that I haven't really discussed with you guys yet, but yeah. So three more orders and this thing should be done. So uh, yeah, other than that, it's gonna end off today's video. Pit bike and destroy, everyone, please go tell them to get their full peg bar set up back in stock so I can order that because yeah it looks kind of weird with all this done doing it's just got stock peg bar and it looks terrible so uh feel like I can destroy please get that thing done really appreciate that but uh other than that's gonna end off today's video I hope you guys enjoyed stay tuned for uh more of this build series probably be a couple more episodes but uh yeah other than that's gonna end off today's video hope you guys enjoyed and uh I'll see you guys when I see you guys have a good day. Peace.